Hello everybody, my name is Game, and welcome back to another 1 to 5 scale Minecraft aircraft carrier tutorial. Today I'm going to show you um, today I'm going to show you guys how to build the United States aircraft carrier USS Lexington CV2. All right, so for a little background, USS Lexington, nicknamed Lady Lex, is an, was an early aircraft carrier built for the United States Navy. She was the lead ship of the class of the Lexington class. Her only sister ship Saratoga was commissioned a month earlier. Originally designed as a battle cruiser, she was converted into, the, into one of the Navy's first aircraft carriers during con construction to comply with the terms of the Washington Naval Treaty of 1922, which essentially terminated all battleship and battle cruiser construction. The ship helped. The ship entered service in 1928 and was assigned to the Pacific Fleet for her entire career. Lexington and Saratoga were used to develop and refine carrier tactics in a series of annual exercises before World War II. On more than one occasion, these including these included successfully staged ta surprise attacks on Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. The ship's turboelectric propulsion system allowed her to supplement the electrical supply of Tacoma, Washington, during a drought in late 1929 to early 1930. She also delivered medical personnel to relief supplies to Ma Managua, Nicaragua, after an earthquake in 1931. Lexington was at sea when the Pacific War began on December 7, 1941, ferrying fighter aircraft to Midway Island. Her mission was canceled, and she returned to Pearl Harbor a week later. After a, sh after a few days, she was sent to create a diversion from the force en route to, relieved to relieve the besieged Wake Island garrison by attacking Japanese installations in the Marshall Islands. The island surrendered before the relief force got close enough, and the mission was canceled. A planned attack on Wake Island in, 19, in January of 1942 had to be canceled when a submarine sank the oiler required to supply fuel for the return trip. Lexington was sent to the Coral Sea the following month to block any Japanese advances into the area. The ship was spotted by Japanese search aircraft while approaching Rabul, New Britain, but her aircraft shot down most of the Japanese bombers that attacked her. Together with the carrier Yorktown, she successfully attacked Jap Japanese shipping off the coast of New Guinea in early March. Lexington was quickly refitted in, the per in Pearl Harbor at the end of the month and rendezvoused with Yorktown in the Battle of the Coral Sea in early May. A few days later, on the, the Japanese began Operation Mo, the invasion of Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea, and two American carriers attempted to stop the invasion force. They sank light carrier Shoho on the 7th of May during the Battle of the Coral Sea, but did not encounter the main Japanese force of the carriers Shokaku and Zuikaku until the next day. Aircraft from Lexington and Yorktown badly damaged Shokaku, but the, but the Japanese aircraft crippled Lexington. A mixture of air, avi avi aviation gasoline, and her improperly drained aircraft fuel tank trunk, trunk lines which ran from the keel tanks up to her hangar deck, ignited, causing a series of explosions and fires that could not be controlled. Lexington was scuttled by an American destroyer during the evening of the 8th of May to prevent her capture. The wreck of Lexington was located on the 4th of March, 2018, by the RV Petrel, which was part of the, an expedition fund, funded by Paul Allen. The ship is about 430 nautical miles, or 800 kilometers, off the northeast coast of Australia in the Coral Sea. So she's got quite the background being the United States second aircraft carrier, only to the United States aircraft carrier Langley, which I do have a model for. But her and her sister carrier Saratoga were fairly useful during the war. Uh, well, Lexington, while Lexington sank during the Battle of the Coral Sea, Saratoga had served well into the war and was also only one of three aircraft carriers to survive alongside Enterprise and Ranger. Um, if I remember correctly, she was had literally just been at Pearl Harbor for the attack. She was present on December 5th, 1941. So she was almost 
in uh, almost present learning attack had she been delayed by a couple weeks or whatever. But, um, yeah, to start off, here is her very weird fantail bow. It looks, very, it looks quite different in uh, 1927. But as of 1941, she had a more fantail and curved out bow. Um, her stern is also weirdly fantailed. And she's a rather large rudder. Um, I also have her armor belt, windows on the side of the ship. The main island is a massive funnel. Personally, she's my favorite uh, aircraft carrier of World War II based on appearance. Based on service life, it's of course Enterprise. But, you know, <laughs> to each their own. Um, also has some rigging going on here as well. But anyway, let's just get into this. Mm hmm. Alright, layer one, if you want, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve are to cut it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Brick top slide. And then you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Red terracotta with one, two, three, four brick top slabs and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven red terracotta and you want to go to third block forward you want one two three four five six seven on the outside like that you want to go in and you want one two one two three four five six red terracotta with brick slabs inside and one two red terracotta and then one, two, three, four. Brick top slabs in the middle. You want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right terracotta, a brick slab, and three brick walls. To the side of the brick slab, you want a skeleton skull, and then one, two, three end rods for it. Then next to the last end rod, you want a skeleton skull, and then four end rods following it. And then for this, because she's a fairly large ship, I want to fill in the keel. <laughs> and once you have that, you should have something that looks exactly like this. Once you copy it over, and then that will do it for layer one. Moving on into layer two. Alright, moving into layer two, you wanna go to the front, you want one, two, three, four, five. For terracotta, you wanna go diagonally, you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, red terracotta, and then two brick slabs at the side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Red terracotta and two brick top slabs. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, red terracotta. Two brick slabs. You want to go inside. You want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red terracotta with two brick top slabs. One, two, three, four, five red terracotta and a brick slab. You go in between. You want a red terracotta, two red terracotta, and then a brick stair, and then two brick walls following it. If you're building this in water, all of this would be underwater. Everything above this point would be high and dry. Alright. So, moving into layer number three. Alright, moving into layer three, you want to go to the front. And you want one, two, three, four, red terracotta. And it's going to the side. You want one, Five, red terracotta, and two stone top slabs. Then one, two, three, four, five, seven, 
ten, press stop and everything. Three and four and then you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, and eighteen <laughs> stone blocks with signs on them. Slab, and then one, and then one, two, three, four stone with birch signs on them, and then one, two, three, four stone, stone stair, stone slab, and then one, two, three, four stone, and then uh, stone slab, and then three normal stone. And then copy that to the other side. You have that. Alright. Okay, so before we get started in this next layer, you actually want to move the bow. Everything on the uh, main bow, one block forward, and then we'll just go on the front. Alright. Alright, so you want three stone blocks. A wall on the front, and then a stone slab on the side, and with a skeleton skull in front of it. And then one, two, three, full blocks, and then two slabs, two full blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then two full blocks, a stone, and a, uh, a stair, and a slab, and then one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, full blocks, and then 2 stone slabs, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 uh, full blocks. Alright, and then you want to take your iron trap doors. You want one, two, three, four, five, six iron trap doors. And then coming off the stone, you want one, two top slabs. In you want one, two top slabs. You want one, two full blocks. And top slab. And then you want an iron trap. You want two iron trap doors coming off these slabs. And then one coming off this slab. And then in the center, you want to fill in. The one block and an and site wall, just like that. And then that does it for layer one. Now we can move into layer two. No, that is it for layer four. Now we can move into layer five. But I need to go first. All right, moving on into layer five and our final layer for the hull. You want to go to this um, wall and place a stone block on it. Then a stone there in front of it, stone slabs on the side, and an iron trap doors on the side of that. Then place two stone behind the slabs and two slabs behind the stone. And then you want to place a, another, a third stone behind the other stone block with a stone slab and a birch sign on it. And then you want to place another one and two full blocks behind that. And then one, two, three full blocks with skeleton skulls on the side. Just like that. And then one, two full blocks, 
so slabs, two uh, normal full, full blocks, and then one, two, three stone bottom slabs with full blocks behind them. Place birch fence gates, not birch fence gates, but fence birch signs on it. And then a normal stone, and then one, two, three, four, five stone with iron trap doors on them. And then a stone block, an iron trap door, forward facing smooth quartz stair, smooth quartz slab, and then a st an iron top iron trap door with a full block behind it, and then a row of one, two, three, four. Five iron trap doors just like that, and then you want an iron top trap door, a quartz slab, and another iron trap door, uh, top trap door, and then another top door, wood slab, top door with stone, top door, two quartz slabs, and a top trap door. With a full block, another full block, and a stair. I'm gonna go to these trap doors on the side. You want to skip a space. And then you want one, you want another five, three, four, five. And then skip a space, but one, two, three, four. And then you want one, one, two, three skeleton skulls on top of the um, our doors. You want to go in, stone behind the stair, and then another stone. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone bricks. with polished blackstone buttons on them just like that. You can also scatter a couple more um, a couple more buttons around the place there. You went in the back you want a row of one, two, three, four, five stone stairs, and then a skull on either side, and mostly repeat the same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, stone bricks, and then one, two, three, four. Five, six full blocks. No, not full blocks, polished black stone buttons. And then one, two, three skulls. Stone block with a backwards facing stone stair. And then one, two, and three full blocks. Iron trap door. A smooth quartz slab. Smooth quartz stair facing forward. And then another top slab and a one, two full blocks. And then you want one, two, three. Two rows of four um, backwards facing the stone stairs. So one, two, three, and four. And then place a full stone block. And then one, two, three, and four. And then a full block, and then one, one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven full blocks with one, two, three. Slabs on the side. Hold on. I think I did something wrong. Hmm. 
One, two, three, four, and five. Oh boy. Hold on. Okay, I think I messed up. So you want a full block here, and then a slab. Okay, there we go. We're going to fix the hull. There. And then one, two, three slabs on the side. And then there we go. So you want to put the one block behind it. And then you want to put one, 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 two, three birch signs on the front of it. On the sides, just like that. And then you have one, two, um, four blocks, two, three, five, and then one, two, four. Stone slab, blue birch sign on the side, and stone block on the inside, and two full blocks on the side with two stone slabs in front of it, two and a couple blocks on the slab, and then two slabs on the full block, just like that. And then once you're done, you should have something that looks just like this, and then you can get out either your gray carpet, no, either your gray wool or your concrete, or your gray concrete, and then you can fill in the deck. I think I'm going to use an updated gray wool. There we go, that is the deck filled in.
Then before we move on to the next layer, you guys should probably go in and fix that um, layer. Nah, there's actually a couple of layers there. that all right so you want to go to this and indent in the hole right here and you want to place with one facing forward you also want to go to the center block on the very front just like that and place an end rod there So moving along, um, easily. Dark oak landscape, open backwards with false anchor club, and then dark oak landscape, open backwards with an false anchor club. And then one, two, three stone. And on the other side, you want two bottoms to make quartz slabs. I need to change those. Just like that. And then. You want false anesthetic stairs facing forward, and then a false anesthetic slab on the side. And then. One, two, three blocks, and one, two, five, six, and the false anchor club with, uh, with slabs on them, and then side facing the false anchor stairs, and then two side facing the smooth with four top slabs, and then another false anchor stair. And on all of the stairs, you want both signs. happened. Anyway, you want to put birch signs on the stairs. Alright, and then you want an anti-site wall, polish and site full block for the birch dark oak fence gate and then a false anesthetic slab for the dark oak fence gate and then you go to the stair right here and place an end rod also on this side of the ship level you want to scatter a couple um, buttons just like that. And then on this first stone block you want an inside wall, a stone, and an inside wall. You want levers facing up on either side of the full block and then you want dark oak fence gates on top of this uh, wall in the back. You place a false anesthetic stair facing forward. I put one on the uh, on the uh, first not dark oak landscape right here. Then you place the birch landscape facing inward on either side, and then an iron frame in the front. With two birch fence gates open towards the back on the back. Alright, and then I'll place a polished anesthetic slab on top of the stair, and then a stone stair on top of the fence gate. 
and then a wall on top of that with a birch trap door open up on it and then take sensor open forward top like that and then iron trap door on either side of the wall just like that and then Layer here, you want one, two, three end rods with end rods on either side of that top one, and then you want structure boards on either side of the bottom one, and on the front of those, you want those fake signs. And then you want to get your structure void go from the top, and then you just want a diagonal of structure voids. Alright, and on top of those, we will place left hand buttons. Alright, just like that. Now you want to click on the command slash give at S barrier and then you want to place one and two barriers on these birch fence gates. Alright, and then Pulse left some buttons on the side of them. Like that, and then on top of these pairs, you want one, two, three, four, five, six stone. And then stack another layer on top of that. On the bottom layer, on the, on the right side, you have one, two, three. Three, four. Um, that's it. No, item frames is one, two, three. On top, on the other side, you want one, two, three. Item frames with two first signs on the front. And then you want two rows of one. One set of walls on top of each other, another set of wall. And then two rows of four stone on top of each other, just like that, and then, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, six skeleton skulls on either side, just like that, and then one on the back, cool, and then, of that skull, you want an end rod. And on top of, on this first wall here, you want a dark oak trap door open forward, and then one, two, three, four um, trap doors just like that. And then you want to place a dark oak fence gate on top of this um, wall, and open it towards the uh, inside. You want you 
you want a uh, stair upside down facing backwards with a jungle trap door closed on it. And then a skeleton skull on the other side just like that and then a lever on top of the skull. Alright, and then you want one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, um, structure boards like that, and then on the other side you want one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four buttons, do the same thing on the other side. On this and drive you one button, one void, and then two, and then three, and then one, two, and then one, and three, and then you want the polish box and button. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and then one. Do some wood. Like that. And then for your final task, you want to get gray carpet and cover the rest of the deck. Now, once you have all of that done, that will conclude the tutorial for my design of the USS Lexington CV-2 United States aircraft carrier in 1 to 5 scale. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you have any suggestions, go leave it down in the comments. And if you thought, hey, I like this tutorial and maybe I might want to check out some other videos, you can go subscribe to my channel. I have plenty of upcoming tutorials that I'm sure you will all love. But without further ado, my name is Curious Gamer. I hope you'll have a wonderful day. I didn't really have a great day. But um yeah. This is Curious Gamer building the US Lexington CV2. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Good night.